Hello everybody, E here. Uh, today I have a uh, fan request. Jefferson Skylark asked me to do my top five scariest King novels. Uh, I'm going to go into uh, each book and then I'm going to give you the scene that I think warrants being on the list. I'm going to start with the ones that are probably expected um, in my top, you, if you guys watch my top five uh, best King books, two of these are on that list. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start with those and then move on to the ones that I haven't talked about yet. So the first one I have is from Stephen King's It. Um, my, I think the scariest scene in the book uh, is probably Ben and Pennywise. When Ben is on the bridge looking down at Mummy Pennywise, there's something about that scene. Um, and neither the old, the miniseries nor the new movie, uh, spoilers, I guess, uh, have that scene in it. And there's something very cold and stark and just utter, just super creepy about that scene. But of course, this is, I mean, there's a dozen scary scenes in this book, if not more. Um, I could just sit here all day talking about it, but that's that th these are in no particular order either um, I can't choose the scariest scene. I just can't uh, anyway, so that's it next up. I have Pet Cemetery um, This one I think the scariest scene for me is anything with gauge uh, after the well, spoilers again, I guess the whole video is going to be spoilers so um, after Cage's death gauge is death um, everything with him in it just it screwed me all up. Uh, you know, especially the movie. Actually, the movie would be different. It'd be anything with Zelda in it. Um, but in the book, I, is Gage is just a creepy little character. Um, so, yeah, Pet Cemetery. The next one I have is The Shining. This one, I don't find Jack creepy, scary. I don't find anything about Danny or the hotel itself. It's the topiary animals. The hedge animals, they they scare the crap out of me every time I read it. And Steph, hairy face Steph, if you're watching, man, this is a great book. I don't know what the hell's wrong with you. Anyways, um, <laughs> just kidding, man. Um, but yeah, uh, room two, uh, what two seventeen? Uh, none none of those things bother me. But those hedge animals, uh, I guess it's because we never actually see them running around. It just really, really creeped me out. Any scene with them in it. So that's another one, The Shining. Um, and then we have this one, this one bothers me on a very deep level. Uh, when I was nine years old, I was attacked by a dog. Um, I was torn up pretty bad. And so <laughs> anything with Cujo in it going, you know, go, <laughs> tearing people up, it, it messes me up. So yeah, Cujo, while it may not be anything supernatural, though there is some supernatural stuff in the book, uh, most people uh, that you talk to is like and that's a can happen book not all of it uh, we'll discuss that later when I go when I'm going through my chronological books but yeah Cujo man scary it, this one messes me up but that's for personal reasons and last but not least uh, they just made Gerald's game into a terrific absolutely pitch perfect movie adaptation on Netflix if you haven't seen it go see it um, anything with the the moonlight man um, in the book, I see. I, I fell. King. I fell for all of King's tricks in this book. Um, so the ending was even scarier than me than probably it should have been. But um, yeah, the degloving scene is is disturbing. But the the shadows. Um, this one made me look at the shadows in my own bedroom quite differently for some time. Um, so that's my top five. You got. Uh, let's go ahead and stack them up. Show them to you again. So that's what we got there. Uh, if you have a top five, if you want to discuss them, let me know down in the doobly-doo. Real quick, before you go, I got some new toys. Uh, I got the Wendy Torrance Funko. I was going to do these, but I don't think these warrant a video by themselves. So I'm going to pop these out. Wendy. And to complete my collection of the Shining Funko Pops, we got Danny Torrance. Let's pull him out, and then I'll let you guys get on out of here. Thanks for hanging around, by the way. I appreciate it. If I can get this sucker out of here, 
All right. Uh, get over there. Ooh, he's even got a knife. He's got a knife. <laughs> and he has the lipstick. He's got the lipstick that uh, he writes on the mirror with. Man, he looks... That oh, looks pretty good. All right, so we got these guys. Let's get Jack down here. Uh-oh, come back. No, don't, don't carry off. All right, so the family Torrance. Yeah. Okay. Anywho, um, so that's my top, that's some Funko Pops and my top five list. If you have your own list, leave it down there. Until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been a Steve, another Stephen King list. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.